It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and this is the part of the show that's just like when the dentist tries to small talk with you. Oh, that awkward. Uh, ah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Uh. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, let's just turn up the anesthesia while okay. we do a brand new edition of What's On Your Mind, where we go around the room and find out what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately, starting with Brooke. Oh. Brooke, what's on your mind? Dude, my kids are in it already, you guys. They are writing letters to Santa. Like, Whoa. it is full-blown press time, I love right? the Fox house. Are they, we are getting catalogs from, like, you know, Target or whatever of the toys to even Amazon sends ones out and they like cut out the pictures and they paste them oh, on there. that one. Um. Okay, they're <laughs> they're asking for some weird stuff this year though and oh, no. I don't know if Uh-oh. I should do something about it but the strangest <laughs> one I have to show you a picture of this because I, it's called Little Live Pets Gotta Go. What? Turtle. Okay, and turtle is spelled T U R D L E. It's turd. a pink oh. turtle oh, no. sitting on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> with a pile of pink poo under it. Oh, what? I see it. She's you showing see us that? a picture. So it's like a stuffed animal looking thing that goes to the bathroom? It's it's, it's an a, animal that you teach to go potty in an actual it, potty. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I just know that this is what they cut out of the Target catalog, oh. and I'm concerned oh. that they want a pooping turtle <laughs> yeah. from Santa. Yeah. I mean, do, yeah. is no one else affected well, by why, this? Why does it concern me? you? Because it's so gross. Yeah. Like, it's, it grosses me out. Well, yeah. don't you leave the doors open when you go to the bathroom <laughs> in your house? I feel only like they're just... One. Jeffrey, only number one. Oh, not okay. Number two. Like, I do have limits. Okay, I do have some boundaries oh. in my life. I children just, like, take in what they <laughs> yeah. see and they reflect it back onto the world. Yeah. So the turtle yeah. reminds them of Brooke? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so put the turtle toy outside of the bathroom. You yeah. keep your door open. You guys oh, face no. each other. Yeah. You kids all go together. So this is a reflection of a motherhood that they want this. It's I not so. a reflection of a of yeah. the toy industry going amok. They just yeah. want what they see. Okay. The next well, then... going to be like, Dolly doesn't shower. Yeah. I think... <laughs> well, that's because of mom. Uh-huh. According to Jeff, I need to do some real inside thinking on this one. Yeah, You're I think so. Reflecting. I think it's cute. I think it's you cute. You like this? It's cute. Oh, my God. Yeah. At least the poop is pink. It's called oh. Gotta Go Turtle. Like, turd. <laughs> turtle. Yeah. So oh, bad. Oh, it's better than the than the Gotta Drink Dolphin, though. So at least go with that one. Okay. Okay, let's, That's uh, true, Jeffrey. That's let's, true. Let's talk to Jose. Jose, what's been on your mind? Well, I've been losing weight lately. Yeah, congratulations. You've Thank been great, you. man. You've been working hard at it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been on a, on a diet, and it's been great. Um, and I've been having to tighten my belt because of it more and more. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know how you have your normal warm... Like, physically tighten your belt, not yeah. like a uh, money thing. Oh. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. So, uh, it's going down, like, loop by loop slowly... And then the other day, something really embarrassing happened. Uh Uh-oh. I was in the bathroom, and I had just finished up, and my belt snapped and broke. Oh, my God. Completely snapped. And I was like, oh, my God. And my pants, that's when I really noticed. Like, they're falling down. Like, they don't even touch my waist. So the rest of the day, I'm around the office. My pants are, like, falling off. I'm like, I'm going to get sent home by HR pretty soon because I'm, like, accidentally mooning people. Yeah, you try yeah. to be in, like, a, I don't know Or what. I look like, yeah, like yeah. I'm a gang member. Yeah. I'm walking around like, yo, what's up, Bessie? Like, I'm trying to sag or something. Anyway, so then I had to wear sweats for two days. Two days? Because I had to wait for my belt to come in uh, from Amazon. I think instead of a new belt, why don't you get new pants? Yeah. <laughs> That's well, a good point. Some, like, high-quality clothes that don't break in half when you tighten them a little bit. And maybe we don't go shopping on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's, like, okay. s- probably some small children there. Making the belt that you just ordered. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true, and that's why it's so crappy. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, that's not the, the point. No, actually, Stop. Brooke is right. I probably need to get some new pants, yeah. or just borrow some from Alexis. Oh, yeah. I think they're gonna fit me. Yeah, soon. you guys yeah. are the same size. Well, that's yeah. weird. Leggings. Yeah. Not, <laughs> I probably don't fit the crop tops yet, but yeah. the, the the yoga pants. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. I, those we'll are a little stretchy. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> there, that going <laughs> soon. Uh, social media coordinator Alexis, tell us what's been on your mind. So, you guys, I went to my first pro football game the other day. Congrats. Yes, thank you. And, okay, honestly, I had, like, kind of low expectations going in. You you mean about getting numbers from the players? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I wanted that to happen. but I Like, you weren't that excited about it? I just thought, like, it might be long, you know, and, like, slow, like, whistleblowing and not knowing what's happening sort of thing. Okay, because you're not a big football fan. 
Well, no, I, like I'm a bandwagon fan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. She likes being a part of Yeah, stuff. totally. Right. But actually, I had a lot of fun. It was oh, really great. good. Yeah. It's awesome. So the first thing I noticed is how they cheer for like the first downs, you know? Yeah. Like people right. yell. And like I yelled for every down. Because <laughs> that yeah. was so exciting. <laughs> it was like second, third, fourth. No, no. it's not important. It yeah. was really fun. And yeah. it can be really bad. Like, you're the only you don't one make in the, the stadium really? yelling for third down. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, we're just counting up. I thought yeah. it was really no, fun. No, okay. You can cheer for fourth down if you're rooting for the defense. I just follow the people. I don't know. Okay. I feel like my kids may understand football better than you, Alexis. <laughs> well, that, the thing is, you also don't even need to watch the game because they play great party music in between the plays, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah they, they do. do. Like, they have some solid music, and the game yeah. actually interrupts the music. Okay. Oh. So you but, just want to go to a club. Yeah. Well, it was fun there, though. Yeah. Where you can cheer. No, she yeah. wants, she <laughs> wants the games to happen, but she wants there to be less actual football. Yeah, yeah, more dancing. Yeah, can you cut down the game from, like, 60 minutes down to, like, five, and then just fill the rest of the time with I think a bunch of nice. EDM yeah. music? Again, I think that's just a concert, but okay. Well, well but they did do, they made some touchdowns while I was there, you know? Made some touchdowns. Yeah. And some I, touchdowns. I missed a few because I was on my phone, but... The good thing about it is everyone stands up, so I know when they score. Yeah, Because yeah, I, I see that from like my vision up, yeah. and then they do a replay, so yeah. it's like I can see um, it anyway. Oh, okay. there it was. All right. So it's like they're already thinking and ahead. She's like, is wow. it seventh down now? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I had a lot of fun, and I'm a huge football fan now. Uh, yes. Go team! I don't Go know team! Go sports! Okay. All right. <laughs> Jeffrey, Play ball. Jeffrey, what's Play on ball. <laughs> Jeffrey? What's on your mind? Well. Brooke loves to give me unsolicited advice on yeah. changes that she thinks I should make in my personal life. I think like, all of us when to show what? up to a party. Yeah. Uh, what no, to post needed. on my social media. You need help with that also. Yeah. See, See, all Alexis these sort of things. <laughs> well, you know what, Brooke? Yeah, I'm just trying to help you. It's be about your time for you to get a dose of <gasps> oh, your own okay. advice oh, from me. Here okay. We go. Well, and I want it. you to listen. Okay. Okay. Lips <laughs> closed, ears open. <laughs> I know those things aren't always easy for you. They're not. Because I heard you say something unbelievable the other day Uh, to our editor, Ashley. Oh. And I I was shocked that this sentence actually came out of your face. But you turned to her and you said, totally sincere, Mm -hmm. you were like, so what's your favorite type of squash? (laughs) That book is a phrase that should never be uttered in the history of the world to anyone ever. <laughs> Squash lovers would be bored and put off by that question. Ashley had an opinion. No, she did not. Yes, she looked, I felt horrible to her because I witnessed this happen. Like... She didn't know what to say because, of course, no normal person yeah. has a favorite type of squash. I don't... You couldn't sound more pretentious <laughs> than asking somebody about no. what their favorite type of squash is, like a squash uh, snob. I it think, really I think, I'm not positive, but I <laughs> think we were talking about the texture of butternut squash. Oh, my God. At the time. Oh, man. Oh, man. About... Uh, no. Sometimes it can be a little gritty. Brooke, Ashley's okay. my age. She doesn't want to hear this. No. Oh, Ashley, Ashley acts my age. Yeah, no. she does. Okay. You know, but yeah. Yeah. Brooke She's just great. jumped in. She's like, oh, well, my favorite squash is a Spanish delicata <laughs> from the orchards of Barcelona. <laughs> Get them imported. The list, she asked us, yeah, so Brooke, I'm just telling you, please stop asking people their favorite type of squash do you have for it? your own benefit. But do you have an opinion? No, I don't. Are you sure? I, I, I'm dead I sure feel I know, like know you're... what my favorite squash is. I feel like you could be an acorn guy. Oh, oh, bro. I, come on, be better. <laughs> be, you're better than this. That's it. You got a loaf of squash bread I'm coming sorry. your way, buddy. That is my advice to you, and I will continue giving you advice so you like sound it. less pretentious. Well, you like the advice or you like the squash? I kind of like the advice. The advice oh. yeah. Dang it. Text in to 78592. I'll take it. Tell us what's been on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.